We're here today to honour the men who never left England, whether or not for inj injury or from wounds received on the front line. We stand here in one of the many cemeteries that honour the Australians who never left English shores, at the grave of John Bartlett, also known as John Barkley, who died at the age of 27, a Melbourne boy who never got to go home again, like so many other thousands of Australians. Welcome to my fellow Premier's Anza Tour members, to our special group commemoration, service to honour all the Australian servicemen and women who have served in all wars and are buried in Great Britain. Today we pay our respects to the many soldiers who have died serving our country, especially those who were wounded on the Somme and Flanders and evacuated to Britain, where they would later succumb to their wounds. These courageous men and women sacrificed their lives in the hope that ours would be better. To not respect and acknowledge this amazing sacrifice would be insulting to our soldiers' lives. This trip has given us incredibly fortunate, incredibly fortunate students the opportunity to represent our state and country. We thank our ancestors for giving us such opportunities in life that many people in the world do not have, and we hope that we can do the same for future generations. It is my hope that we leave this memorial today, a little changed by what the Anzacs did for us and what all Australian soldiers continue to do for us. And remember that it wasn't just on the front lines that men would lose their lives, but in the hospitals run by Australian nurses, also performing tasks that we can never fully understand or appreciate. O oh Lord, lover of souls, who through the mouth of your prophet have always declared that all souls are yours, we thank you for the brave and the faithful dead who willingly laid down their lives on the battlefields of war or succumb to the perils of the deep or of the air. We bless you for the dauntless courage of those defenders of our country who have fallen in the cause of truth and righteousness. In your hand, O oh Father, we lead their departed spirits. Grant us to follow their good example in faithfulness and endurance, even unto death, that we may be with them be found worthy of the crown of everlasting life. Amen. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Let's be together. Let's be together.
Paddington's and Angela's and to our commemorations here at Old Paddington Cemetery. For thousands of Australians, they never made it home. But to rest in England is probably appropriate given the fact that they were fighting for king and for country. Best we forget.